Hello AACPS staff and welcome back to our next video tutorial on using audio here in timeline mode. In the last video we saw how to add audio tracks of different kinds including that voiceover line that comes up. In this video we're going to talk about layering audio. So we've picked up kind of where we left off previously. You'll see we have a layered video here with some text at the beginning, that grassy field we've been using for all of these examples, and then we have a voiceover track down here at the bottom where about a third of the way through the video I begin narrating is my favorite of the seasons just as an example here in this uh, video creation that we're working on so we're gonna see how to add an additional audio track into there specifically a music track or a soundtrack to play and we're gonna start talking about some volume controls that are really important when layering audio so I'm gonna go up to the top my menu up here I'm gonna click on audio I'm gonna find a music track that I like that sounds great for my example of the first day of spring here and I'm going to drag that down and I'm going to place that in audio track number one. One of the first things that I want to do is I want to address the length of this. You can see just from looking at my screen that this audio track is much longer than the existing video or voiceover track that I have which means if I were to finish this project save it and share it what my audience would see is after that green grassy screen fades away they're staring at blackness and this music is playing on and on and on and that is not what I want at all so I'm gonna drag my playhead out here to the very end of my video and voiceover I'm gonna click the scissors in order to separate off the rest of this and then I'm gonna click my trash can cuz I just don't need it so now I have a music track that will play for the same amount of time as my voiceover for the same amount of time as my video so that's my first step I'm gonna go ahead and play this because I want you to see or hear the effect that we have right now and then we'll We'll talk about the next step. Spring is my favorite of the seasons. Everything is so green. So hopefully you guys heard what I heard there and that is that the music is just a bit too loud. It's very difficult to hear the narrator clearly and the effect that you're really going for with this type of video is some very soft background music, not an overwhelming soundtrack that makes it difficult to hear the narration. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that volume control over on the left hand side in order to turn down the audio for the soundtrack or the music. So I'm going to put that down in about the 20% range and then let's click play let's drag this over a little closer to where we start speaking and let's click play spring is my favorite of the seasons everything is so so that is much better and I can continue to adjust the volume level for both the voiceover track and the audio one track until I feel that the narrator's voice is nice and crisp and clear and that music is just a subtle background noise the second thing that I can do is I can adjust the volume to play at different levels throughout my audio track so because there are several seconds in that video before I begin speaking and even a couple of seconds at the end after I'm done narrating what I might like to do is have some music that starts off much louder gradually tapers down to a soft level while the narrator is speaking and then maybe the music amps back up and plays out the video at the end so if I turn my attention to these blue bars that run across the top of both of my audio tracks those actually indicate the volume level and because they are consistent in horizontal line from uh, specifically the, the level of the horizontal line all the way across it indicates that the volume is the same all the way across throughout that entire audio track but if I place my playhead in a specific position for example like right here before I start speaking and then I click on that blue line I create a little point that little white dot that appeared there this is now a handle that allows me to adjust the volume level within the audio track so I can drop it down into somewhere in the 20% range just before I start speaking bring my playhead over to after I am done speaking click to create a new dot and drag that down to the exact same volume level where I was and now let's take a look at the effect that we have created here we should have a nice loud volume here at the beginning it tapers down while the narrator speaks and then it ramps back up afterwards 
Spring is my favorite of the seasons. Everything is so green and beautiful. And again, I can change these volume levels um, at the beginning of the video by changing the, the volume value over here on the left hand side. I can change this level by simply dragging this dot lower or higher if it's too quiet or too loud. And I can add new dots to change the level any place that I would like simply by clicking and adding new points to this that allow me to manually turn up and down each volume level as I go through through this audio track. So I can have one consistent soundtrack that plays at one volume throughout my entire video, or I can have it automatically adjust the levels on its own throughout the video so that I get the effects that I'm looking for.